it's you guys know I love pockets. These has, um, these has. How about, no, no, hold on. Let's see how coordinated I'm feeling today. I always do the thing where I miss buttons. Do y'all ever do that? I'm always somebody that's missing buttons. Although I am a fan of a Canadian tuxedo. Welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways fam. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can give you a subscriber shout out. I'm shouting out two awesome subscribers at the end of today's video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end in case that's you. We are back today on the channel with another Amazon haul. Now, I love finding clothes on Amazon because they are a lot of times affordable, um, really high quality, and they ship really quickly. I found some awesome things um, that I can't wait to share with you all. As always, my personal sizes, the sizes I ordered all of these items in, and links will be in the description box down below. So if you see something that you like, just go to the description box and all the information you need will be there. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So let's not delay anymore. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, first up, we're gonna start with this dramatic plunging neckline black sweater. Now, if you've been on the channel for a while, you know I love black and I love sweaters. Can't get enough of both of them. Um, so this was a no-brainer for me. I love this. I got it in tan. You might remember um, some several hauls back. I love this material. I'm gonna come up close. Y'all can see it's soft and it's really fuzzy, but not wooly, so it doesn't feel itchy. Um, this has a fitted band around the bottom and fitted bands around the wrists, which I always love because then you can use them to create more uh, volume and blousing. So you could kind of take it three quarters like that on both. Then the other thing I'm going to do, it's a family channel. First, I should say before I pull this up, it's totally really long so you can get great thumb coverage. If you were really brave, you might could use this as a dress. But like I was saying with these cinch pieces, I'm gonna turn around because we are a family channel, but you could pull this up and then take the sweater off the shoulders like so and have a completely different looking sweater. I personally love it like this. What do you all think? Vote in the comments down below. Do you like it pushed up and cropped and billowy or long and bum coveragey? That's a new word here on the channel, but I like it, bum coveragey. Love this sweater, really soft, elegant, beautiful, versatile, great wardrobe staple. Let's move on to our next item. Next up, we have this green blouse. Now, I'm somebody who has to have blouses a lot for work, um, and I love ones like this that are really gorgeous jewel tone color. I'll come up close so you all can see how just rich and gorgeous it is. I also love these fabric covered buttons. To me, that always just makes things seem a bit nicer. And then this detail of the seam that runs right down the middle here, the flare sleeves, and then a tie in the front. So I've dressed this down and just paired it with jeans, but you could totally dress this up and put it with trousers. Um, a great blouse is again, a wardrobe basic. I've just really been into emerald green lately. I don't know why. It's been, I keep getting tons of green things. Um, and I think this color is just especially beautiful. I'll turn around so you can see the back. If you wanted to, you could just pull it down a bit and have some bum coverage there, which is always nice. I know a lot of people here care about the bum coverage aspect. It's a really light and silky kind of blouse that you could dress up or dress down. Simple. You could probably pull this off the shoulder as well if you undid the front button. I just love that look. Next item. Next up, we have another great sweater. This one feels a little bit more casual and a bit more sporty. It's got this great three quarter zip. The detail on the metallic is a really nice, deep kind of pewtery silver that sometimes almost looks gold. I love the detailing around the neck. You can zip this all the way up and have a turtleneck looking sweater. That detail is repeated on the wrists and around the bottom. Again, we see that cinching. I love this kind of, I've heard this is called popcorn sweater, which I think is so much fun. Have you heard it called popcorn sweater? Let me know in the comments down below. I've noticed that this fabric has been really, really big this year. I personally love it because it's so warm and soft and just different from anything I've seen. I'll go ahead and unzip this. 
So you can see just by zipping or unzipping, you create a little versatility in your look, which I always think is nice because if you're somebody that cares about people seeing you repeat outfits, it's not practical. We're gonna wear something different every day. So it's great to have pieces like this that you can change up just depending on how you style it. This has also got some serious length to it, total bum coverage. And even though um, the popcorn sweater is like a little bit open, it's still very warm and not at all see-through. This is great to wear on its own or layering with other pieces. And I love this gorgeous Cinderella blue. I previously got this in cream. And the same is true with this blouse. Actually, all of these pieces come in tons of great color options. So maybe I picked a color that I love but you don't like. Make sure to go click on those links in the description box down below because there's always tons and tons of options from this store so you can find one that works for you. Okay, if I do seem like distracted in this video, it's because I'm filming at my parents' house and there's a window right behind the camera and there's this squirrel out there that is having a picnic. I'll try and get footage of it in a minute, but first, let's talk about our last sweater. This is even more casual than both of our first options. Truly as a sweatshirt, but if you wanted to get away with wearing it as a sweater, you totally could. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see. It is a teddy bear material. It feels like I'm, um, you know, wearing something that would feel like what Winnie the Pooh feels like, but it has this sweatshirt material around the neck wrists in the bottom and then is lined with the same sweatshirt material. So it's double lined, which makes it extra warm. It feels so dreamy to wear and it's just so cute. I previously got this in a camel color and I've loved it and worn it so much that I wanted to get it in the black. It's just a fun and different sweatshirt. Um, I, I like to elevate my basics so it looks like I'm trying a little bit more and this sweatshirt is just a great way to do that. So soft and so cozy. I absolutely love it. Um, and I think any of these things would be a great gift. So if you are still shopping for Christmas and you need a great gift idea, everyone loves a good sweatshirt. And because it's on Amazon, it has quick shipping. It'll get here before Christmas. Added bonus. All right, let's try on our next item. Okay, so let's move on into a section of jackets and outerwear, starting with this cozy sweatshirty, cardigany, waterfall-y, pullover -y thing. I don't know quite what to call it, but I got this in a dusty rose color a few weeks ago, and my little sister loved it so much um, that I got this one for her. I love this and I've been wearing it nonstop. Number one thing, it has pockets. You guys know I love pockets. These has, um, these has. <laughs> this has two really great pockets. Um, it is this really gorgeous sagey green color and this downy soft plush material. Um, it's just a really fun layering piece. It's casual. I've thrown it on over athleisure to go in and out of the gym or with little outfits like this. Um, just to add a fun layer. Also, it has a hood. Hold on. How cute is that? So it actually is really practical because it can keep you warm too. You can truly bundle up in this. It's longer, so it completely covers the bum. It's just a cozy, fun piece, and it's really unique. I've never seen anything like this. And like I said, my little sister has been loving it, and so I had to get her one too. Meredith, if you're watching, best big sister award, you need to give it to me. All right, next up, mom was just, mom's helping me and she was just saying, what a great basic. And that is what I have to say about this. Everybody needs an oversized black cardigan. It is such an important, great staple in your wardrobe. And this one is so beautiful. It's really kind of chunky knit with some interesting detailing you can see. Um, in it, it's got nice cinch sleeves. It's a longer length, has this little venting on the side, which is actually nice because it gives it a little motion and makes it easier to wear. Um, it's comfortable. It feels so high quality. And that's true actually of all of these pieces that I've had on. The quality feels really great. I know some of you all have, an express, or have expressed a concern about um, quality when you're shopping on Amazon. And I totally agree. It's one of the reasons why I love doing try on hauls. So I can try it first and let you guys know. The quality of this just feels so good. I have an old um, Eddie Bauer is it Eddie Bauer, mom? Is that a brand? Yeah, <laughs> Eddie Bauer cardigan. That was my grandfather's. That is so nice. And this one reminds me of that. And I have worn that one to almost pieces. And so it's good to have another one that's like it to work into my wardrobe. I absolutely love this. And it's just an easy thing to layer. I always talk about the importance of having a cardigan in your office, in your car, um, 
just around this time of year so you can throw it on in case the weather gets crazy and this one would be the perfect one to have because it goes with absolutely everything. All right, next up we have this really cool plaid blazer. So I'm gonna come up close. I hope you all can see. The thing I love about this is that it has a really unique color. There's a royal blue and a yellow in here, which is really fun. You obviously have to get up really close to see it, but it would be really fun to pull those colors out by styling them with those kind of bold poppy uh, colors that they choose to put in here. I think that makes it fun, but it's still pretty subtle. So from back here, it just looks like a classic black plaid jacket. I just like that little fun kind of secret detail that if you wanted to build on, you totally could. There is some really great tortoise buttons. It is double breasted, so you could button it up. Can I button it up? Hold on. Let's see how coordinated I'm feeling today. I always do the thing where I miss buttons. Do y'all ever do that? I'm always somebody that's missing buttons. You can button it up like so and have a really closed up look. I like doing this and pairing with like a mini skirt, a bodysuit, and an over the knee boots. I always think that's a really fun way to style it. Um, it's lined with a really nice slick material so it plays well with other things. I know you guys know how much I hate whenever you put a layer over something and your sleeve crawls up and you have to reach up and pull it down. <sighs> slick lining gang, where are you at? This one is for you. It's just great, it's classic. Um, instantly dresses up any outfit. I know I talk about wardrobe staples all the time. So a white bodysuit, plain jeans, dress it up immediately and make it, you know, meeting appropriate by throwing on a great blazer like this. Love it. There's so many things you can do with it. Feels great, um, looks great. Two pockets in the front, which is also nice, functional. You guys know I love pockets. And that's really all I have to say about this now. Speaking of wardrobe basics, next up we have this denim jacket. I love the light wash. I'll come up close so you all can see the color. I love this detail here on the um, stitching behind where the buttonholes are. Has two front pockets and then pockets on the side. Uh, four pockets. The more pockets, the better. That's all I'm saying. Love the color. It's a really relaxed denim, so it's soft and stretchy. The denim jackets that I have are a bit more structured and firm. Um, and I've just worn them a lot. I'm a little bit tired of them and I wanted something new and different in my wardrobe. They're starting to look a little bit tattered. Saw this one and absolutely loved it. So you can see there is a button on the sleeve. You could cuff it up or you could leave it down. I've got one of each right here. Uh, this is giving me like 90s Levi's model, this outfit right now. Um, although I am a fan of a Canadian tuxedo. Are you? Let me know if you're in the live chat crew right now. And if you're not watching, let me know in the comments down below. Just a great basic. We all need a denim jacket, gotta have one. Good price, great color. Make sure to check out the other options because there's other washes and even fun colors. So I got this in pink too in a previous haul and I loved it and I loved it so much I had to get it in this color too. Next up, we have this, I call it Cinderella Blue blazer. I wear blazers a ton for work. I know a bunch of people who are probably uh, watching do as well. And I think I love those classic plaids like I had on earlier, but it's really fun and kind of modern to do a blazer in a fun, bright color. Just something different to bring a little life to your work wardrobe. This one is a great option. It's so just got like really nice clean lines. It's lined with a nice slick material, which we've already talked about the importance of. The sleeve length is nice and long, but if you wanted to make it a bit more casual, just cuff it up like this, pair it with a really nice watch. See, I love, personally, I love that look. Um, this one does have pockets, which is nice. Uh, I, I, I've been using my pockets a lot lately, and I think at work it's nice just to throw your cell phone in. Um, the other thing, it has a hook and eye right here on the center, so if you wanted to have a kind of closed up look, you could do it like that. The length of this blazer is great. It's a bit longer, so it totally covers your bum. Um, everything's been so cropped lately, so whenever I see a piece that's longer, it's nice to have those as well. Just a great, great piece to have. I have this in yellow, and every time I've worn it for meetings or work, I've gotten compliments because it really stands out. So be fun, be bold, try something new with your work wardrobe. All right, next up, this technically could have gone with our shirts, but here it is with our jackets because it's a shacket. My newest obsession, probably everyone's newest obsession. Shackets are huge this year. They're really on trend. Everybody has them. And I just wanted to show you these options. I have another one next. In case you were looking for one that you really liked, 
that was an affordable price and would ship quickly. I love this. I love the color palette. It has a ton of colors in it. Red, blue, tan, brown, black, charcoal, cream. It has these great tortoise buttons. And the reason I like that color palette is because then you could pull any one of these colors out with the outfit underneath. It creates a lot of versatility so I could style it with any one of those colors and it would really pop. I chose just to layer it over um, these jeans, a white bodysuit and a hat to show you how easily this dresses up an outfit. It makes it really cute and also very practical. This is very warm. It's not wool. It's wool adjacent. It's something really nice and thick but not itchy. Also has these buttons here on the sleeves. I believe these are called epaulettes um, that you can roll up and help keep your sleeve up. So if you wanted to style it up like this, it's been cold in Nashville. It's kind of even cold in my house. So I'm just leaving it down. And oh my goodness, does it feel cozy. This one is not lined. So it's really a great option for a shirt because it's not too thick or bulky. I love it. And I have another one next. So you gotta let me know which track you like better. This one or this one. <laughs> okay, I like this one and it's a bit different than our last one. Obviously the plaid pattern is different and the color palette. This one is more neutral and muted. If you're some looking for something that's a bit more subtle, this might be a better option for you. The buttons have just like a small little tortoise detail, but they blend in really nicely. Double front pockets that are actually uh, functional. They're not closed shut. Um, and this one does have a button on the sleeve, but no epaulette. The thing that's most different about this, however, is it's lined with this nice, slick, quilted material. Look how nice this liner is, which you know I always prefer because it, it makes it easier to layer, but also this makes this feel more like a winter puffer jacket because it actually is stuffed with some kind of down. I'm not quite sure what kind, but it is so nice and warm. It's so soft and plush and cozy. Plus, I also just love plaid and I, I'm uh, a fan of basics. You can see it also has these pockets. I love this and I ha I've been receiving these clothes, you know, Amazon, they come in shipments. This was the first thing I got and I've already worn the heck out of this. I've worn this so many places. I wore this actually here uh, for my family Thanksgiving and everyone really liked it. So there's that. Absolutely love it. So we have an actual puffer jacket. I love puffer jackets. I've talked about it before and this one is just so great. It's a black puffer jacket. It has these horizontal kind of, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. That squirrel got me again, but it has these horizontal sections. And then the detail you can see has a really nice bright gold zipper with just like some chocolate brown piping. I love black and brown together. I, I always have. I know that a lot of people don't. I really like it. I think it looks so nice. Has zipper pockets. Um, and then this faux fur collar that you can actually like flip up and uh, like, like go around your neck and ears, which is so nice and warm. This zipper is also really, really great. So you can see zip all the way up and then there's snaps here to help put the collar together. I love this jacket. It's a great price for a winter coat. Um, they can be kind of expensive and it's hard to find a cute one. And I think this meets both those criteria and that is why I love it. And they also have another color, so make sure you check that out. All right, next up we have these overalls. I love overalls, always have, always will. When I say always have, I mean, I was wearing overalls in preschool, all the way through elementary school. Then I feel like they kind of fell out of fashion and now they're back. So I've been getting them in every uh, kind of wash. I saw these and it's just like a true blue denim. I really liked the wash. It's a little darker on my camera monitor than it is in person. In person, it just, it's just a, a shade lighter. Um, but I love these. It has metal hardware. It has buttons on the side that you can do and undo. These are adjustable. So if you wanted them to be a bit more baggy, you could. They're just comfortable and they're cute. I wear them all the time. I think I don't know. Am I wrong? Do you guys love overalls? What do you think? Where do you stand? I love them. I would wear them just like this with a white bodysuit underneath and a pair of white tennis shoes out uh, and a little kind of like white toboggan and think that it was the cutest outfit. These are soft. That's the other thing I should point out. These are really soft and stretchy, so they're not uncomfortable. I've gotten overalls in the past that have been really rigid, tight denim. These are so relaxed and I just think they're so much fun. I'll show you what the back looks like. Yes, here they are, overalls. I love them. 
All right, next up we have a section of two-piece sets, starting with this one. Um, I love two-piece sets, one, because I feel like they're a good value. The price on these is what I would pay for just the shirt sometimes. I love getting two pieces for what I feel like is the price of one. Um, so budget and then uh, th their versatility. So then I've got a great pair of new charcoal joggers and just a plain charcoal sweater. And I can mix and match these and wear them with other things in my closet and really give these clothes a lot of life. I'm gonna come up close so you can see the color. Like I said, it's a nice charcoal. You can see it has some heathering. I love the detail on the sleeves. I don't know quite what to call this. It's almost like a raglan, but not quite. Um, it's just comfortable, it's soft. There's a functional drawstring waist here and pockets, which I love. It's a true jogger, it's cinched around the ankle. And I wear this kind of thing all the time. Also, my sister has a silhouette machine, so I like getting plain sets in the event that I could get her to do some heat transfer vinyl and stick something on them. It is Christmas, and I think it would be so cute to get like several of these and make matching Christmas pajamas, or if I was taking a Disney trip, get some of these and do like Disney pajamas for a trip. I'm having all kinds of ideas. Either way, you can't go wrong getting a great basic matching set. Mm, if you feel like you recognize this, it's because you do, or if you feel like you're experiencing deja vu or you've seen this on my channel, it's because you have. It's this blue and white tie-dye set that I order all the time. Um, so it has this functional drawstring with this really nice kind of canvas tie with metal aglets on the end, which let me show you those metal aglets on the end, which I love. Has pockets, it's a true jogger. It's this beautiful, subtle tie-dye. It's got a long sweatshirt with a front pocket, and I love all the cinching because it keeps all the heat in. Now, before you're like, Ali Sutton, you've ordered this three times now. How many do you need? Here's the deal. I ordered two for myself in case the first one wears out, and my grandma saw me wearing the first one and she really liked it, so I ordered this one for her not for myself. So I'm only, you know, a little bit crazy about it. I've ordered two and now one so my grandma and I could be twinning. Wouldn't that be funny? Maybe, I, should I do that? Should I see, I see if she'll twin with me and wear it on the channel? I love this set. I wear it, that's, I literally wear it all the time. I get tons of compliments on it. It's so comfortable. If you wanted to, you could wear this as pajamas, but I wear it just as an athleisure set and I absolutely love it. Next up in our matching sets, we have this buffalo plaid thermal, buffalo plaid print thermal set. Now, I think this is black and white. What do y'all think? Or is it charcoal or is it blue? I'm having a hard time deciding. No matter what it is, I absolutely love it. It has a stretchy waistband, it's cinched around the ankles, cinched around the wrists. It's a really adorable pattern and I love anything that's kind of like thermal waffle knit. I got these for Christmas. These are gonna be my Christmas jammies. Um, every year on Christmas Eve, my family has a tradition of opening a present and it's always Christmas pajamas. And I feel like I look for pajamas online, but they're always insanely expensive. And these are such good price and so cute. So I got some of these for me and my sisters. Um, I'll put on the other ones next. So I like to have us all kind of in the same color palette, but a little bit different. So I got the really dark, gray set, this, and the one next. So tell me which one you all like best. Um, the top is nice and long, and it's not, even though it's a thermal, it's not too hot, so it's just just right for sleeping, like Goldilocks, just right. I think it's so, so cute and would be really adorable with like a heat transfer vinyl red monogram or decal or something. Okay, next up in the Christmas pajama set, here is this one. It's covered in stars, and again, it's in that same color palette. It's almost like gray, blue, black, I don't know what color it is. This set has a really cute front pocket and a functional drawstring with the canvas string and then the metal aglets again, which is just such a nice detail. Again, cinch on the ankles, really cute. I love this and I think, it, I'm so excited for us to open these and coordinate on Christmas. I think you're never too old for matching pajamas. And definitely you can never be too old for coordinating pajamas. These are so soft and slick. The fabric is so nice. I've tried on all three now, the gray, the thermal, and these. And I can't decide which ones I like best. So Meredith and Courtney, if you're watching early, well, Christmas Eve spoiler alert, but also which 
ones do you want? Maybe you guys should help us decide down on my sisters. Who belongs in which pajamas? I can't wait to see what y'all think. Okay, I saved my two piece. <laughs> okay, so I saved my favorite two piece set for last and that is this super plush, super soft, comfy, cozy, buffalo plaid, tan and white short set and pullover. So we'll start with the shorts. These have a functional drawstring waist so you can cinch them in. They, I have them pulled up to my belly button if they look a little short to you. That's just where I feel comfortable wearing them. But if you prefer, you can pull them down on your hips and get a little bit more length out of them. Then it has this half or quarter zip, whichever you think it is, top. Oh, wearing this feels like wearing a blanket and I love it. I love that the zipper is just a really nice white so it blends in perfectly. I love that you can zip it up and have a turtleneck look. This outfit I've seen um, advertised on a bunch of major online boutique stores for a much more expensive price and when I saw it on Amazon for cheaper I was like so so excited because I love it and I just think it's so cute. The um, wrists have a little elastic around them. It's just so soft and cozy. It's so cute. It's my favorite. As always, I want to know what your favorite look is. So let me know in the comments. I'm giving you guys a lot of homework. I've asked you to write a lot in the comments, but I'm always just so interested to see what you think and see what you like, because that truly does help me whenever I'm shopping or putting these videos together. Um, and you guys are always so kind. So thank you for your input. I love this and it's my personal favorite. Okay, moving on. And last but certainly not least, we have this black chambray shirt. So I love how thin, light, and linen-y this feels. I've got some really nice basic blue chambray shirts. I've never seen black, so I was so excited when I saw this one. I love the brown buttons. That just adds something really interesting to me. I love the front pockets. I love the feel. Um, it feels so vintage and distressed, which I love. Now, I wear chambray shirts a lot of times for shoots. It feels like wardrobe stylists put them on me a lot. I think it's just a really nice, classic, um, timeless, kind of relaxed piece. And I think it's, again, a great wardrobe basic because you can dress it up or dress it down, but it's just kind of eternally stylish. So I wanted you guys to see the full length. It gives plenty of bump coverage, um, but I love styling them to be a bit more sassy. So I'm just gonna show you all how I would personally wear it. I would just tie it up like this with a pair of jeans. Oops. Ooh. And voila, just like that. Um, it just makes it a bit more feminine, which I like, just a bit more sassy. It's just a good basic. I wear chambray shirts all the time. I guarantee you, you will see this on my feed sometime soon. So saw here first. And that's it everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go sign off. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I know you all lead really busy lives and taking time out of your day to be here and watch and support means more to me than I can even say. Thank you so much. As always, a special thank you to my live chat crew who is here with me. Live chat crew, I love you all so much. Um, if you are new here, the live chat crew are the people who join me Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central while I premiere videos. We sit and we have a live chat. It is the kindest, most awesome, supportive group of people. I love you all so much. If you're somebody who's looking for kindness, community, and friendship, don't be shy. Jump on in. We'd love to have you join. I also want to give a big subscriber shout out to both Lindsay Newman and Pure Verb. So Lindsay and Pure Verb, you both have left super sweet comments. Um, one on my Buffalo Chicken Dip recipe video, the other on a Disney Cruise Line video. Uh, just really kind words of support and encouragement and that really means the world to me. The internet can sometimes be a dark and murky place, but people like you make it so much brighter, so much more fun and really uh, give me the encouragement I need to keep going here on YouTube. So thank you so much. I love you. I love you all and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye!